Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemist Bodesni. Today we are going to see what milk is made of. So milk is made of uh, four uh, basic uh, components. Uh, the first one is proteins uh, and they are namely albumin, uh, lactoglobulin uh, and casein. Then we have some minerals which you can see here. After that uh, we see that there are some uh, sugars, uh, for example lactose uh, and lastly there are some fats. Uh, so for this experiment we are going to show you how you can separate them. So, so let's see it. The procedure for the experiment begins by putting 200 milliliters of milk in a beaker. After that, what we are going to do is to put this beaker on top of a magnetic stirrer and we are going to stir the solution and heat it up around 40 to 50 degrees centigrade. And we are going to leave it like this for 15 minutes. So the next step for our experiment is to take 10 milliliters of acetic acid concentrated at 20% or the equivalent uh, diluted. So uh, with this solution we are going to mix it to our milk and uh, then we are going to see a precipitate forming. This precipitate we are going to filter it out and uh, we are going to gather it on our filter paper and we are going to continue the experiment with the solution. We are going to wash with hot water uh, this precipitate in order to remove everything from it. So guys, now we separate casein and we know that its solubility is pH dependent and that's why we acidify the solution with a weak acid uh, and it's important to know that we cannot use a strong one because lactose tends to decompose when the pH is really low and in fact we use acetic acid that is a weak one and we obtain uh, this uh, casein because its structure uh, tends to precipitate when the pH is lower than the neutral one. Now we are going to weigh 2.4 grams of calcium carbonate and we are going to mix it to the solution which we have filtrated. Uh, then we are going uh, to uh, heat this solution to 90 degrees and we are going to leave it like this for 10 minutes. Uh, you will notice that some bubbles are forming so be careful not to make it foam over the beaker. Um, uh, then uh, we are going uh, to uh, uh, see a precipitate forming uh, in order to separate it we are going to filter this uh, precipitate uh, then we are going to gather it and continue our experiment with this following solution. Now in order to separate albumin and lactoglobulin we need to evaporate much water and in fact by evaporating uh, this much water we will concentrate the acid present in solution and we don't want, to, don't want to obtain this result because as we said before lactose is really vulnerable to acid and in fact we use a base that is a carbonate, calcium carbonate in order to bring the pH to a neutral value and after that we uh, heat the solution in this way the protein they compose themselves they precipitate out and we are able to separate them Now we are going uh, to boil our solution until we arrive at 40 milliliters. After we have arrived then we are going to add 150 milliliters of 85% uh, ethanol. Then we are going to heat the solution at its boiling point for about 5 minutes. Then we are going to see a precipitate forming. So we are going to filter this precipitate and continue experiment with the solution. Now we have a mixture of uh, minerals and lactose and we want to separate them. 
we know that uh, minerals are not soluble in hot ethanol whereas lactose is and so uh, we uh, boil the water and after that we add uh, ethanol because in this way we are able to uh, dissolve uh, lactose and uh, minerals will be insolved in this solution and that's why we are going to separate it uh, with the simple filtration to take control over your body and over your soul We're gonna take back everything and lose it all Lose it all Final step for our experiment uh, is to boil this solution containing ethanol uh, until it arrives to 70 milliliters. Uh, at that point, we're going to take the solution uh, uh, from the stove uh, and then we're going to let it cool down. Uh, you will see that after a long time, a precipitate will start forming, and this precipitate we're going to separate it uh, uh, doing a, a filtration with a filter paper. Uh, and after that, our experiment is over. Finally, we want to separate lactose that is dissolved in our solution and that's why we boiled most of the uh, ethanol and the water in solution and after that we wait for its uh, crystallization that is really slow and in fact we're going to show you just the beginning of this crystallization because it would take a week or more. We still got a few more days to slay It's gonna get so much louder Now we're here to take control Over your body and over your soul We're gonna take back everything and lose it all Lose it all, lose it all So guys, the experiment is finally over and we want to compare the values reported in the packaging that you can see here and the values that we have measured that you can see here and as you can see they are pretty similar with the slow difference because of the mistakes that we uh, uh, could have committed during our procedure. So for this experiment everything is over and we have to remember you that you can go to our uh, channel and see uh, other amazing videos like this. Uh, so if you like this video please leave in the comments and for today is all, thanks for watching guys!